and there my lights go when I tell you I have no idea how to work this camera I done googled it and everything and let me tell you I'm more confused after googling it than I was before I feel like I know less now that I've googled what's wrong with it than I knew before before I googled it welcome to technology 101 <laughs> I may understand why older people be frustrated with technology this camera is making me feel like I might understand why they be so overwhelmed cuz baby the way my eyes crossed trying to understand ISO aperture I so shoot baby why are y'all speaking in tongues trying to tell me what's wrong with this camera just tell me the what button to push to turn it on or off <sighs> okay <laughs> nope hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Vanilla McKell thank you so much for being here with me today today is day whatever day this lands on in my 25 days of content series where every day from the 1st until the 25th I drop a brand new video every single day every single day I drop a brand new video so if you're seeing this during the month of September you are current on the drops um, so just thank y'all for sticking it out literally every single day y'all are commenting y'all are engaging y'all are liking like watching the ads like i'm telling you if there was if there was a definition for top tier subscribers it would say top tier subscribers semicolon or is that a colon or a semicolon which one is the two dots the two dots then it would say benia mckell subscribers period that's that's all I got to say on that. Um, you know I have my discount code for body oils. The code is on the screen. Um, there is plenty. There's a plethora of content on my channel with hauls, um, recommendations, videos. Um, like the the possibilities are in in this for you to figure out where to start your journey, specifically with perfume oils. I just dropped a video talking about perfume oils that I own in my collection that are better than the original perfumes like if there's nothing else you can find on my channel it's perfume oils and like I always say too the comment section is a great way to um figure out where to start too because people come back and comment and say I got this 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 is my favorite like if you can't figure it out after my channel you can't figure it out <laughs> like because the perfume oils are my thing so go ahead and check those videos out and then I think that's it we are going to do today a show me your dance tag it's not a tag because nobody tag me I tag myself tag your it <laughs> um I did a show me your dance of affordable perfumes and I've done one for inexpensive perfumes so now I'm going to do for fine fragrance mist um and you know I do still have a good amount of sprays to show here but when I was going through through them um, there's quite a few that I didn't bring that have dents in them the problem is the packaging is so you know it's opaque or whatever that you can't see and I can't show it in the light so there's quite a do this thing bombshell okay um there's quite a few that are missing because I can't properly show the dent um some other ones I didn't include because I'm on the second bottle of it so the second bottle is still pretty full but so some are missing because of that and then <clears throat> anything that's in my project use it up I didn't bring in but excuse me even having that said I still have quite a bit of things to show you so be prepared get a snack get a beverage if you got a long ride, if you got to wash dishes, whatever you got to do, just turn me on so I can keep you company. Let's get into it. Okay, so some of these bottles is a little, they need to be cleaned off. But I'm not finna get up right now to clean them off. So, <laughs> just don't judge. This is Fresh Jungle. Ooh, what is it? This is Fresh Jungle Rain from Bath & Body Works. And the dent, as you can see, is right here. And I feel like this is a really good dent for two reasons. Number one, I'm not a fresh scent lover okay not a fan of things that are like super fresh especially like the linen fresh that's where I'm like I'm all set um so that's one reason why I feel like this is a good dent number two I just got this this year yeah I think they had one of their $5.95 body care sales 
Was it this year? Or was it last year? It was this year. It was earlier this year. Um, and I let myself indulge in the 595 body care sales because the 2022 winter semi-annual sale was so terrible. So when a couple of sales came around, I let myself get some things. And this was one of them. And I actually really enjoy this. This is Rain Kiss Palms, Amazon Dragon Fruit, and Misty Breeze. It's for it to be a fresh type of thing. I actually enjoy this and I like pulling this for like rainy days. You know, I try to be as fresh and clean as possible as far as the smell to be a fresh, clean smell when it's rainy because, you know, rainy gets muggy and sticky and it's gross. So I try to stick with aquatic, fresh type of scents for the rain and this one has been a go-to for the rain. I actually thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this. I don't have a backup of this, um, but... Would I repurchase this if I saw this at semi-annual sale? I don't know. I don't know. I am enjoying it. I don't feel like I am in a rush. Like I would not. I'm not putting this in a project. Use it up anytime soon or anything. I am thoroughly enjoying it. I don't know if I would consider this a repurchase because I'm not a fresh lover. Not because it's not worth it though. Okay, this is Summer Melody, baby. The dent. Where is that? I feel like you can kind of see it. Uh, maybe I'll do a sign. Nope. Well, anyway, I'm so it's the dent is right here. Okay, this where we at with the dent. And baby, it's accurate. The dent is an accurate reflection of how I feel about this. This and y'all know, I don't care for vanilla by itself. Once you put vanilla with just about anything, it's a time, baby. This summer melody, honeydew and bronze vanilla. Woo! They was in a bag with this one. Do you hear me? Ooh, it's so succulent and juicy, but with the it's almost like I guess because it's gun, golden honey. I was gonna say it's almost like when you put honey on top of fruit or something like that. Like, oh, I do have backups of this i don't i only think i have i think i have one backup of this which honestly is not enough it's not enough the dent is truly an act the dent is truly an accurate reflection of how i feel of how i feel about this fragrance okay so this is honeysuckle peach tea and the dent is right here and the reason why i'm including this is because this is my second bottle of this and i still have a pretty good dent in this i don't think i talk about this one a lot but this is good it had to grow on me. When I first smelled it, I was like, mmm. But then I spent the block, and I came back around, and I said, oh. And it's so perfumey, and the, what is it, nectarine in here? Honeysuckle, juicy peaches, and sweet tea. I'm so glad I didn't skip on this. I'm so, so, so glad. And this scent is also a scent memory for me. Because um, this, this year that this collection came out was the first year that I started to get back into body care like the full range of body care started back into bath and body works it was this year that semi annual sale was so good baby i bled that semi annual sale joe rye okay i went back probably every day just to see what was 75 percent off like i had a time that year yeah so that semi annual sale owes me nothing this is like i said it's my second bottle so glad I didn't give up on it. From that same, I think that's the same year we got fresh coconut colada, baby. You okay? Yes. <laughs> and I do have a backup of this. It's in the packaging from before this, but I bought it after that. That's because the outlet was back then. It was it was a time you could find lots of good things. Um, but this is a very simple. Uh, ooh. You know, they did such a good job. So, it's coconut milk, vanilla rum, and pink hibiscus. You know, I don't really smell any hibiscus. It's the milk with the vanilla rum. It smells boozy, but in a good way. Like, you definitely feel like you're on a tropical beach somewhere. I can't get enough of this. I'm so glad I got a backup. I should have got more. I know I have a backup of the spray. I don't know if I have a backup of the lotion. I might have, I think I have a body cream on my shelf and a lotion. A backup of the lotion. But yeah, this is oh, they they did so good, so good. Now, I'm almost sure this came out the same year 
as the honeysuckle one did. 2021 maybe? Summer 2021? I almost want to say that's when it was. But that was the last good, like good, good semi-annual sale. Was summer 2021. Also that year we got cherry limeade. This is where my dent is. Okay. Do I have a backup of this? I know I have a backup of the lotion and I think the body cream. I don't think I have a backup of the spray or the shower gel. So, so stupid. So dumb. This is another one that's just, oh, juicy and gummy. Like, this makes you feel like you're eating one of them gummy worms that's green on one side or red on the other. Or like you got a really good slushy from 7-Eleven. Like, it's just, oh. Oh, so, so, so good. So good. Like, the dent is denting. Okay, this is butterfly. And y'all really can't see where I'm at, but it's right where the, uh, that's all that's left <laughs> at the bottom. Um, I do have a backup of this. I think I have a couple backups of this because this is one of the one, the few body mints that I have that perform like perfume. Like, when you spray with this, you can smell it forever on your clothes. Like, compliments, non-stop. Um, this is that girl. This is 100% that girl. And I say it all the time. I didn't care for the packages, so I was not interested. I was not going to buy this. Somebody gave it to me as a gift. And I said, oh. Oh, this is a time. And I almost missed out. I'm so glad she gave me this. Shout out to her that was the best thing she ever did for me was to give me this because this is life changing truly truly life changing Woo! so good sweet Caroline bum, bum, bum. okay okay so this is gingham fresh and you really can't see the dent well so in the lighting I can see but I'm right here, but I was like, I could just turn it upside down and y'all can see how much of it that I have used. This one is another one. I don't know what about it. They're in there. You know what this, what it is too? This one reminds me of Midsummer Dream, which I have here. And you can also see where the dent is. Like this, and what are the notes? So Midsummer Dream has salted pear, fresh nectarine, and seaside lily. Gingham Fresh has Juicy Pear, Sparkling Clementine, and Fresh Daisy. So both pear at the top, the middle, Clementine and Nectarine, both fruit, and the base is Daisies and Lily. So both flowers. So very, very similar compositions for the fragrance. And I didn't realize that to the other day. I was like, they remind me of each other. They are very similar. I can see the differences, but I can also see that they are very similar. They both have some significant dents, and I love them both. And it makes sense because I wear both of these with um, Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, and that's also one of my top 10 favorite perfumes of all time. That is my baby. That is my love. I love that one. I'm on my second model of that one. And I just, I will repurchase that every time. I don't care. Full price. Doesn't matter. I will always repurchase that. And these put me in that vibe. That's why the dent is denting the way that the dent is denting. Okay. <laughs> so this is your other one. And even though the dent is not that big, I put this in because this is my second bottle. Um, So for me to be this, have this much use out of it and it's my second bottle, that tells you something. Y'all know you're the one. You're the one is very perfumey. Ooh, I actually got a layering combo for this that I need to um go ahead and film the last layering combo before fall. And it had this in it. This is grown. You got to be a little grown to wear this. Really, I don't know how you bath and body works had no business putting out a fine fragrance mist that smells this good. Tell us you shun the devil. They had no business pulling putting out a fine fragrance mist that is this much like a perfume. Uh, the notes, white birch, velvety rose, and a strop, ooh, a strop of strawberry nectar. <laughs> a drop of strawberry nectar. Um, yeah, they had no business. This is like, especially for those people who be like, 
Math and money were so cheap. Da, da, da. You can't. If you sprayed this around them, they wouldn't know that's where it was from. They wouldn't know. Okay, this is strawberry pound cake. I think this is my second or third bottle of this. I don't know, and it's still like halfway done. I think I got. I might have one more of these. I don't know. I probably do. Because I just don't be playing with Bath and Body Works. Because they, they do too much. So, I think I have another bottle of this. But I'm also for sure that this isn't my first bottle. I, it's for sure I went through one more. And I might have went through another one before that. Um, Y'all know what's up. Okay, this is Bubbly Rosé. Baby, please don't sleep. The dents, can y'all see it? Right there. It's another one. Very perfumey. Non-stop compliment. Beast mode, as far as a fine fragrance can be beast mode, it is Bubbly Rose. I told y'all when I did my um, back to school recommendations. Woo! I think this was in part two. And I told y'all that I knew this was different when I left the shower, came back, went back in the bathroom, and all I could still smell was this. I said, oh no, this is a game changer. That day when I went into work, when the compliments started rolling the way they was rolling, I said, oh no, this is different. Especially when you're a person that's always known for smelling good, which is, it's, it's a heavy burden to bear. But somebody's got to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but when I really, like, when they were complimenting me, because I knew that it smelled, I could smell it and it was different. But when other people kept confirming, I said, oh no, this is different. This is different. So, I do have a backup of this but the dent is is a very accurate reflection of how I feel about this one this is in the stars the dent is really it's not fair to put this one in here because maybe I shouldn't put this one in here because I can't see it no more where it's at okay it's like right here right where the sparkly stop is kind of it's right where it's at um the reason is because for some reason it's one of those bottles that I always have like multiples going at the same time I don't know why um, I have plenty of backups of this because this was like my favorite. Yeah, I just always have multiple these going at the same time. I don't know why, but even with that, they all still have very big, significant dents in them. This is that girl. This is another one. This was my first. I told you I had got into this before I even knew about the Cloud 540 DNA. I didn't even know nothing about any of those perfumes. Um, I just fell in love with this smell that I found out after the fact. And I was like, I. I don't, it smells amazing. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Compliment Getter performs like it's basically like a perfume. This is Winter Candy Apple. This is my second bottle of this. This is another one that I had two going at the same time and didn't realize it. Um, but I just finished the old packaging of Winter Candy Apple. It was also my Project Use It Up. Um, so we'll see that at the end of this, towards the end of this month when my project use it up is done for spring, summer. But this is actually a very good year-round fragrance, which is why the dents are the way they are. Even though it says winter candy apple, there's nothing that it makes this an exclusively winter, uh, scent. Candy red apples, winter rose petals, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. I didn't know all that was supposed to be in here. It's good. I, I literally wear this year-round. Year-round. Um, and it's a no-brainer to where they were eating Juicy Apple from K. Ali. No-brainer. This <laughs> is fresh gardenia. Can y'all see where it's at? I don't. This one snuck up on me. Um. Woo. It's, I come to realize I like florals. <laughs> um, I understand florals is kind of like a difficult one to overcome. I like florals. I'm sorry. Um, this is Dewy Honeysuckle, White Gardenia, and Cashmere Musk. I don't think I have a backup of the spray. I think I, I know I've already went through a full a lotion. I brought the backup up of that. I think I went through the shower gel too. And I think this might be my last spray. This, if I would have known then what I know now, I definitely would have got a backup of this. I love, 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 love this. And this is one of the ones, I don't know why. I wear this in the winter too. I love a good winter floral. I love a good winter floral. But this is probably going to be gone this year. And I'm going to be so sad. And like I said, I, I know I have another lotion. But I wish I had another spray. But actually, I don't know. Because I don't be knowing what's in my backup stash. I ain't even going to hold you. There are certain things that I know for sure. But a lot of things, I'd be like, oh, this here? Oh, okay. 
this is white tan ginger which you know they just brought back at the summer semi-annual sale so that was june this is september and it's already down here and i know for sure i got back up to this because of the way i started going through this before the semi-annual sale was even over i said oh no and that i like when they bring fragrances back and they don't change nothing this is exactly the same as back in the day i said oh baby this is the time Oh my god, this is an acquired acquired scent. I could definitely understand people not liking it. I get it. But and for nothing else, it's nostalgic because I literally I literally remember this was one that I had in the old packaging too, where it was like square at the top, then it kind of got down to a circle or something. Like back in the day, back in the day. And it's just good. It's perfumey. Uh, white tea leaves, sparkling yuzu, fresh bergamot, geranium petals, hints of ginger. It is, I think this is blended well like it's a perfume. Like, I don't know, this is just that girl to me. I can see how some people find it matronly or a little mature. I get that, but you just gotta have the right energy to pull it off. You just gotta, you just got you do. Like, if you think it's matronly, it's gonna feel matronly on you. But if you don't and you think it's that girl, then it's that girl. This is Gingham Vibrant. Um, I just got this. No, I think I got this during the $5.95 sale. You really. So it's right here. If you can. I can't really see. But if you turn it upside down. Right where the. Uh, the juice. The label is stopping. That's how much I finished. This is another one. I wasn't expecting it to be so good. But I. Oh. Mm mm mm. Why does it smell so like a perfume to me? This is Wild Blackberries, Candid Violets, and Soft Vanilla. This is so good. Y'all know I just went to the body scrub. That was on accident. I couldn't put that down. I feel like even in the fall, even though I think this was like a spring release, for some reason I feel like in the fall I can have a time with this. They was, the whole, actually the whole Gingham line, the only gingham that I don't necessarily care for is the first one, the original. The rest of the flankers in the line are genuinely very good and I have all of them and I enjoy every single one of them. Okay, this is Watermelon Mojito. We're down to where the label, this line right here starts. Um, this is a good dent because this just came out, is it this year? So... It's another one that, you know, Bath and Body Works does good with watermelon. I have several watermelon scents from them, and I think I like every single one. But the uh, watermelon with the cane sugar, watermelon soda, which I'm from Mid I'm Midwest, so watermelon pop, <laughs> pink rum, and cane sugar. This is really good. I wonder how this would be with like a, um, I have a perfume oil of velvet sugar. I wonder how watermelon mojito would be with a velvet sugar perfume oil. Am I on to something? You gotta try that and report back. Okay, this is a thousand wishes. Um, the dent is okay. I've had this for long enough. Well, how long have I had this? It's not bad. So I go back and forth with whether I, how I feel about this one or not. Um, I think I have a layering combo for this too, so I'm gonna wait. And um, it is good. However, I feel like after I'm done, I'm not gonna repurchase it. Also, I found a perfume oil. Where did I get that perfume oil from? I don't remember, but I have a perfume oil, and it smells exactly like this. So I don't know if after this bottle is done, if I'm gonna repurchase a thousand wishes. It's a classic, I I know, but I just don't know if I. It's perfumey and it does have a purpose. I just don't know. I'm not in a rush to finish this. I don't feel like I need to go through this anytime soon. But in the next, I don't know, year or so, when I finish it, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase. Now, a thousand Christmas wishes? Absolutely. Didn't I just finish that bottle up? Okay, so this is a margarita cupcake. I actually don't talk about this one enough or get enough use out of it. But when I do use it, um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this. Um, ooh. It's actually so good. Um, I don't even think there's notes on this. There isn't notes. And I think this is from like 2020. But I was able to get it in 2021. Because that was back. I ain't going to keep reminiscing. 
but um this is actually genuinely very good and um i need to get some more use out of this i i think i have a backup of this too i only was able to get the lotion and the spray but once i started using it i was like i actually really like this so um i spent the block and i know for sure i have a backup of something i think it's the lotion and the spray this is genuinely really good and I, i'm actually about to start pulling this out again because it's a time this is blueberry sugar pancakes we're right here um and honestly the reason why it's not more is because i don't have a backup and i think i got this in 22 where did i get this i don't remember but i felt like i thought i was going to be able to find some that's in my annual sale and i didn't i think this is one of the ones where i let myself buy something before the semi annual sale or something i don't know i just remember i bought it and I didn't get, I bought it when it wasn't semi-annual sale because I thought I would find some more during semi-annual sale and I didn't. So I'm happy to have what I have of it because I have been trying to get it when it was in the packaging before this. Um, and I couldn't get my hands on it. So I love, I actually really, really love this. And like I said, the only reason why, oh, this is blueberry muffins. I said, they say sugar pancakes, this is blueberry muffins. And just the top part, not all that bread at the bottom, just the top muffin part, the delicious part. Oh! again no business creating something this beautiful no business um i wear this with fenty rihanna her perfume all the time it's a no-brainer compliment getter um yeah i wish i had a backup of this though that's the only reason why the dent isn't bigger is because i'll be trying to use it sparingly because once i get to spraying this okay this is pearberry um i'm half about halfway through with this one i think i bought a backup of this but i really shouldn't have when i was using it and enjoying this because i think i got this ooh. well I, the price on the bottom says 14 dollars, so that should tell you how long ago i got this bottle um because ain't nothing 14 dollars now but i think they brought it back a year or so ago and i got it again to have a backup but i was like i actually don't need a backup um once i'm done with this i'm good and i have a perfume oil from land of oz that smells exactly exactly like this so i really don't need the backup but it's fine it's just a very good you know juicy fruity type of thing it's so nostalgic for me this used to be my go-to scent back in the day pearberry i wore this out i got compliments though but i used to wear pearberry out this is peach prosecco macaron um it's honestly not my favorite i think it's more gourmand than i was expecting i was expecting something i don't know what i was expecting it's not bad it's not a love for me but um i wear this all the time with victor Roth bomb bomb it's like a my match made in heaven literally like there's no better more perfect perfume for a peach prosecco macaron than victor Roth bomb bomb uh i don't think i have any backups of this i don't think so and i don't need any pinkberry clouds um we're like a right here a good quarter um this one is little a little masculine I, the what it is with this one the name doesn't match the scent so the notes it says strawberry sponge sugar marshmallow fluff and fresh air there's something so strong about this one like i don't know how to explain it but i wear this because it puts me in a perfumey mindset so the couple times that i've worn it i spray super heavily because i'm like this is basically like a perfume um but because it's pink berry clouds and you think this pink light fluffy thing is so much stronger than that um so that's why i don't have more use out of it but i still when i use it though i get the spray spray spraying i just think that i don't know this should have been um name something else i don't know when i'll pull this out when i do my fall which probably won't be to october when i do my fall uh scents or whatever that i want to use pink berry, pink berry clouds is going in there this is pink watermelon another good very good uh fragrance from bath and body rich when it comes to watermelon juicy watermelon pink petals dewy aloe can I, i'm assuming y'all can see um mm -mm -mm. i mean just just good if you like watermelon it's just good i don't even know if they have this anymore and the thing is even though we got like three or four different because we got a watermelon lemonade i have that one too they don't all smell the same watermelon lemonade pink watermelon blast 
pink watermelon watermelon mojito they all smell like a different type of watermelon fragrance so i commend them because it's easy for anybody especially bath and body works or victoria's secret so when you start doing one scent for them all to smell the same but they really don't they all smell different and they all serve a different purpose so shout out to y'all for that Okay, so I missed a couple. I want to talk about them real quick. This is Summertime Surf. The dent is an accurate reflection. I absolutely love this. In the summer and the spring, I wear this with Carolina Herrera Good Girl all the time. Non-stop compliments. This is actually really, really good. Really perfumey. Um, the notes are Vanilla Breeze, Sea Salt Sands, and Sony Coconut. Very, very good. They need to bring this back. This is Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. As you can see, the dent is denting. This might be my second bottle of this. I just love this so much. Even though it says winter peach, like you can wear this year round. This is literally so perfumey. I have backups upon backups upon backups of this because it is so good. And the dent is truly an accurate reflection of how I feel about this fragrance. Okay, so this is the last of the uh, Bath and Body Works ones that I'm going to talk about. <sighs> this is Sugar Cherry Crisp. I am literally just holding on in hopes that they bring this back what had happened was like i said i think this was the first year when i started getting back into body care and i didn't really understand my palette or what i liked or what i didn't like so the first time i smelled it they had the whole set they had the shower gel the lotion and the spray i smelled it i was like i don't think i like this came back a couple weeks later and i sprayed it again i said i think i like this but then they only had the spray and the body cream I think no the spray in the shower gel so all I grabbed was the spray in the shower gel if I would have known then what I know now <laughs> or the old folks said if I would have known then what I knew now <laughs> oh my god I'm literally just holding on to this and just hopes that they bring this back why would y'all make something so good what would possess y'all? And the packaging was good back then. Y'all were in y'all bag. Why the perfume on people? Why we don't got a perfume oil of Sugar Cherry Crisp? What's going on? Why y'all dropping the ball like this? And I just picked up. I did an online pickup. Because they said. um Something magic. Something blood. Y'all know I ain't into Halloween stuff. But they said it's like a lighter version of Sugar Cherry Crisp. I'll be the judge of that. Because if it's not, that thing is going right back. Oh, I wish. And they had the whole set with backups of everything. It was multiple. By the time I went back to the outlet that year, this was 2021. Um, I think it was the summer, too. I'm telling you, that year was so good. But the time I went back, they only had the shower gel and the spray left. I'm glad I got what I got, but still, like... To think about the fact that there was multiples there, but I didn't know that I liked the fragrance back then. So it just somebody else is just living my dream with my sugar cherry crisp. <sighs> okay, we got a few. Uh, I almost said Ariana Grande fragrances. What? We got a few Victoria's Secret fragrances uh, to show. Uh, this is Kiwi Chill. I don't even remember using this much. I do like it, but it was one that snuck up on me. And once I started spraying this, I said, oh, this, this is a time. Oh, yeah, I like to, I wear this with Midsummer Dream, Gingham Gorgeous. I mean, any of like the fresh citrusy scents, I mean, it goes so good. Um, I wear this with Prada Paradox. It's just genuinely very good. Lime Squeeze and Ice Kiwi. Um, it's, it snuck up on me. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is, but I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy Kiwi Chill. The only reason why I it won't be gone this year is because it's I don't see myself using this in the fall and winter. But um, next summer, it's probably going to be gone because this is, once you start spraying, it just smells so juicy and refreshing. Like, it's just, it's just so easy to go through. Like, it was an accident, to be honest. I don't know where the cap went for this one, but this, baby, this bare, bare vanilla heat, baby, a time. Spice mango, solar coconut, bare vanilla. Genuinely, very good. Y'all actually did y'all big one with this one. Genuinely a very good, like... Probably my favorite bear vanilla. And I not that I smelled a lot of them or most of them. Like my Victoria's Secret inventory is very limited and my how many I've smelled is 
So don't use me as the bar for that. Because I'm actually a very unreliable source for Victoria's Secret. I'm just saying, for me not to like vanilla, this bare vanilla heat with that spice mango and that solar coconut. Oh, y'all did that. This is Sunset Sorbet. This just smells like, you know, Brazilian Crush, that whole type of DNA. It's a good one. Um, I got some good use out of it. This is probably my first. But here's the thing. I always say I never feel like their descriptions and their scent profile is accurate it says ice papaya and glitter waves but i just told you it smells like the brazilian crush cirrosa 62 dna do that make sense that don't even go that it don't make sense like i feel like they always get that wrong they like 90 percent of the time i feel like they get that wrong but it's good um i'm gonna bring this out in the fall for sure for sure in the fall and winter that's gonna be a time this is vanilla snow uh sugar cookie and cake sprinkles i actually really really like this one can we see where we're at? Yeah, basically where the label starts is where we're down to. Um, I'm going to be using this up in the fall and winter. It's actually, this is one that actually smells like what it says. Sugar cookie and, ice, and cake sprinkles. Actually very accurate. Very good. This might be going at the end of the year. Just saying. This is wild cherry, dark cherry, and pink honey. I'm down here. I actually really, really enjoy this one. This will probably be out for the fall. This is actually really good. Probably one of their better fragrances. Um, wouldn't, be, that, wouldn't be surprised if this is going at the end of the year. Would actually repurchase. Would actually repurchase. Um, it's just, it's not super complicated, not super complex, but it's genuinely just very, very good. Very, very good. Pure Seduction Untamed. We're down to here. Um, it's okay. Ripen Berry Violet Leaves Pure Seduction in the Wild. Um, Oh, wait a minute. I like this one. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder my dent is so good. This one is also kind of perfumey. Ooh. Ooh. This is good. No wonder this dent is the way that it is. I would repurchase this one. Honestly, all the ones from Victoria's Secret that I just showed, I would repurchase every single one of those. Last one, last one at least, Cocoa Vanilla. The dent. Cocoa Vanilla is, without question, one of my favorite scents of all time. They did their big one. I'm sorry, they did. Uh, and I just got this not too long ago. And the, the dent is denting. It's there's nothing else to say. Ten out of ten, we repurchase all of, every single one of those. So, um, like I said, I actually am missing quite a few because the packaging was just too opaque and you couldn't see through it. Um, and some of them, like I said, I'm on my second bottle, and the second bottle isn't very having used out of it. A lot of it but I finished a whole bottle so you know but still I got a pretty good dent I try my best to use my products I get a lot of use out of my perfumes out of my sprays my body creams my lotions I try to get a good use out of everything that I own but specifically those things I get good use out of those um, and I, I enjoy my collection I enjoy having things that I have but I like to use them up too and the dents for pretty much everything is an accurate reflection of how I feel about them. Minus the ones that I just couldn't show. But that's all. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, what what body sprays do you have like a dent? Like a heavy dent in that you just, it's an accurate reflection. Or there was some that I looked and I, was, I saw a dent. But I was like, I don't know why there's a dent in that. So I'm not bringing it out. Like, uh, Berry Waffle Cone. I smelled it and I was like, I actually don't like this. I actually don't like this fragrance. And it had a, actually a very significant dent in it. And I was like, I actually don't know why. I don't know why. Um, but, so yeah, drop down in the comments. Head to the after party. Let me know what you think. Uh, also, are y'all tired yet? <laughs> Baby, it's 25 days, but I've been very consistent. I've been sticking with it. I've been trying to get ahead and do two or three videos at a time and edit it up so I'm not trying to keep up in real time because that's what happened last year. I was like recording and editing and uploading the same day, so it was a mess. I missed a couple days. The videos were terrible. It just, it was not good. So this time around, I am doing much, much better, but baby... 
is whooping myself. <laughs> but I will say, I feel the love and support every single time I upload. I mean, every single time y'all are there supporting, pushing me, and it's giving me energy and pushing me to keep going. So I love y'all for that. I so, so love y'all for that. So yeah, y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. I love you all so much. Check out my discount code. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.